Hello everybody, it's Dr. Zaner with 15 Minute Fuel, which is in 15 minutes a day will fuel your mind, your body, and your future. I'm here in Clearwater, uh, beautiful. You know, we're right here looking at the beach at the uh, Health Experts Alliance a seminar, great, with uh, Dr. Josh Axe, Dr. Isaac Jones, Jordan Rubens here, and just a bunch of other great people I speak tomorrow. But it is uh, part day five, so I made sure, you know, when I do travel, thank you for your grace. You know, I just, you'll see it on your feed and just watch it. Today we're going to go over uh, day five of the IamHero.com. So if you go to IamHero.com on your browser, I know you guys, some of you have been having issues from, from Facebook getting over, but it's, it's actually IamHero.com forward slash free series. But if you just go to your browser, IamHero.com, make sure you sign up. It's, it'll be free over the next couple weeks, hopefully. And then uh, it'll actually become a paid thing. The reason why someone asked, well, why is it free now? Why will it become paid? Because what I'm going to start to do is I'm going to make I'm going to make these mini video courses, right? So that's a mini video course. I'm going to offer it to you guys, my family, my team, uh, at no charge in the beginning for the first couple of months. So we could go through it together. Um, I get your feedback, and your feedback allows me to make it better for you, for you guys as well. And then after we we, we develop together, then you know I'll make it a low cost uh, product after that. But today we're going to talk about day five. So day five is uh, one month to win is going to be um, invest in the tools to win. All right. So we, we talked about getting committed, taking 100% responsibility, getting the thought leaders in your life, um, planning to win. And now we're going to get invest in the tools to win. So certain things would be, you, ha you know, you have to invest in those areas. If I look at your checkbook and your credit card statement, I know exactly what you're winning in, all right? You want to make sure you're winning the right area. So if, if you want to win in your health, you got to invest in the tools. So what's the tools you invest in when you're health? That could be investing in good organic food, organic uh, healthy supplements. That could be, or, or investing in uh, the time in meal preparation. You know, those things, that's where you invest in. Investing into a gym, if you go to the gym. Invest, some of you guys need a, a trainer for accountability. See, a personal trainer could be like your thought leader. You invest in that for your workout, so you make sure you get it done. Whatever that is, you've got to invest in the area you want to win at. If you want to invest in your finances, then I would actually invest in the people that will allow you to create wealth creation, to learn, or maybe invest in courses for you to learn more. Because if, any, if, if, if anything's an asset in your life, or you want to make sure that you're in control of that as well. But your relationship, you invest in the date nights. You invest in the vacation with your spouse or whoever you're dating. You invest in these things. Uh, if, if it's personal development, you, inve you invest in books, tapes, and audios at work. If it's your business, you invest in those things to develop your skills. If you want to become a better salesperson, you invest in courses on sales. You take out the lead salesperson in your company and say, you know, teach me, mentor me. So this is where you start to use money to invest in it, money and time to invest in the things that you want to win at. And uh, it's very easy that perfect people say like, listen, you know, we're so concerned with getting as much money as we can. So let's say you're like, you made all this, this is just stuff, let's say you made all this money, right? And you have a, let's say this is a brick of thousand dollar bills. Now, a thousand dollar bills, it's it's really as, it's uh, basically has the same worth as these cards I'm holding right here. Because if I have a stack of a thousand dollar bills, that so many people, they go to work for to do this. They, they well, I gotta make my money, I gotta make the money. So they make the money and it sits in the bank or it sits underneath your mattress for some of you. And what it does is like, right now, this stack of paper is worthless to me in my life, right? It doesn't do anything. It's, uh, if this was a stack of thousand dollar bills, it does nothing, right? It doesn't do anything until I use the potential of it. So if this just sits on the table, and my dad used to, uh, <laughs> he used to put, ca put cash in the pillows at home and in the couch, in his thinking couch. So if it sits there, if it's just sitting there, it does nothing, right? It doesn't benefit your life. And here, you worked to get this, but all money is, it's potential, right? It's potential for what, though, right? So for some people, this equals security. So if I have this same, look, I got a stack of $1,000 bills. If that makes me feel secure as a human being, it's a false sense of security because that nothing happens with that. I feel better that I have a stack, but what did that stack do for me? But if I could take... $2,000 and that's a vacation with my wife 
if I could take, you know, $2,000 and invest in a program that'll develop a skill in, in my business, allow me to become better. If I could take, you know, uh, maybe, let's say, $5,000 and invest in in a year worth of meal planning and getting better organic food in my life and supplementation and you know if someone wants to take you know four thousand dollars invest into chiropractic care to take care of the nervous system you see what I'm saying so this now that potential turns into something that becomes an investment in you that betters you but otherwise if I say well I don't I, I can't you know I, I don't want to touch it or we get in the Dave Ramsey thing where like people are so they're, they're so focused on getting debt free. So when they're debt free, everything they make, they what they whore, they hold on to, and this becomes the god. Remember, money has no power unless you take it and you invest it and make it do something for you. So money is the money in the bank is just potential. What can you do with that? So that's why when I say I look at your credit card statement, if I look at your checkbook, I can see where where you're winning at, right? So I could see where you're putting your where you put your money is where your heart follows. So this is a great way to then, when you look at your credit card statement, say, well, what are the areas that I don't want to win at that I'm spending money in? And so you start, you start, you know, like I said, we used to do a time that time expansion. What we do is we find the areas that are that are robbing us of money that are take that that, that do nothing. So low income or z like zero income or negative balance activities that don't benefit in your life in any way. We get rid of those so that 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 allows you more more potential, low income producing activities where you could actually, you know, delegate that out. And so you could delegate, you know, someone to mow your lawn if you don't like to do that. Or you could, you know, do things around the house. So that frees up time for you to now invest something else into learning. That's your relationship. That's your uh, physical being, health, working out, preparing meals, going on a date. Uh, again, with, with business, I always say learning skills because more skills you learn in your business, then that increases your value to the workplace. So think of money as potential. So a stack of thousand dollar bills is worthless to you. I know it sounds weird, like a stack of thousand bill, that thousand dollar bills is worthless. Once I give it to somebody in exchange for value, then it actually becomes a seed that expands and grows. But it depends what you do with it. So where are you going to put that that investment of time and money in your life? If it is going to be in your relationships, if it is going to be in your business, if it is going to be in your finances and in your health, make sure that potential is then watered and expands. And that's how, you know, when it comes to winning, you have to invest in order to win. Invest those things in the areas of your life. Whatever that is, so what you wrote down, if you want to invest in uh, someone was said like eating, it's the easiest thing to do, eating well. So. Make sure invest in the organic food. You know, get the good chicken, get the good grass-fed beef. You know, if you are taking supplementation, you know, make sure you get the greatest whole food supplements. Don't get the junk. Get the top of the line because you're putting this into your body. That's why when it comes to health, I'm so into, you know, whatever I put in my body, it has to be top of the line because I'm putting it into me, and I am, and I value my body and myself as the greatest asset I have. So I want to make sure that when you do that, money in the, in the bank is just potential. It's what you do with it. So don't feel bad when you take money out and you invest in yourself in something that's going to be valuable to you. And the return on investment of a relationship, like your spouse, amazing. The return on investment of your health, amazing. The return on investment in uh, developing your business, your skills, and value to the community, even better. And all those things, when you invest in your health and your relationship and your business, then that's going to help you grow that one area, which is finances, you know, and wealth creation uh, through that. Because you're not sick, you're not suffering and you're ahead of the game. So invest in the tools. There's so many tools you can invest in, but remember, money is just potential. Think of money as potential, and money sitting around doesn't do anything. Money in the bank doesn't do much. All money in the bank does is give you a false sense of security, but when you take it and you invest into something that will create a return on investment of life, then you really start to start winning in many areas, and you'll see that principle work in your life every single day. So thank you guys so much for the grace of uh, seeing me about six o'clock central time. Uh, tomorrow, uh, Saturday and Sunday, we'll be traveling. I'll try to get on. Uh, you know, we're done with the five days this week of one month to the win. I will start the next five days starting Monday. But in the meantime, if we have any cool things going on, I'll make sure uh, we'll get on live for you guys. So put any questions or comments. Make sure you, this week we're promoting Instagram. So make sure you go to Instagram with Dr. 
Dr. Zeno on Instagram. Check that out. Again, if you're listening to this podcast, make sure you comment and share with others. And I believe, like, We Are Heroes, episode 43 came out today, right? Mm-hmm. 43, check that one out. It was great. That was uh, when, we had to, when I did that speak off. You'll enjoy it. A lot of good wisdom in there. We had a lot of, we, we shot a lot of good wisdom today here as well. We'll see you guys tomorrow. God bless.